Hello, so today I want to talk to you about what it means to accept tinnitus. I know when I first got it, it was completely unacceptable. It was completely, I complete, I believed that there would be no way I could possibly go forward like this, that I could live a normal life and have this sound and uh, so, yeah, it was completely unacceptable. But wow, how things have changed for me and how I do accept it. And it makes all the difference. Um, this is my normal. I have a sound. This is my normal and I accept it. I have this sound. It's not easy to say those words for a lot of people. This is my normal. I accept it. I have this sound, but you try it, try it. I mean, it, it, you need to learn to accept it. And then from there, you can move forward with more progress. I know, I know it's very difficult sometimes to accept these things, you know, uh, but it can be done. And the benefit is really, really awesome. <laughs> so I really want to encourage you to do that because if you can learn to accept it the way you think about it the way you feel about it the way you go through your day will change and that will be really wonderful for you so I, I, let's try try this a, a few times you know this is my normal I accept it it's just a sound and your body chemistry is going to change if you can learn to, to do that. Um, we all have challenges and it seems like this challenge, especially at the onset when you first get tinnitus, it seems like it's impossible to, 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 to work with it. And then you get more used to it. Um, what I'm trying to do with this video is just try to encourage you to stop fighting it because the very act of fighting it is what makes it especially hard to, to, to move forward with that. Those very thoughts that you have where you're saying uh, it's so loud. I hate it. I can't stand it. How do, how do, how do you even cope? Because I accept it. And from there, my body chemistry changes, my mental process changes and it doesn't even, I don't even think about it. Like right now, I mean, I'm thinking about it because it's, uh, I'm making a tinnitus video, <laughs> but it doesn't bother me. And it's very, very uh, striking how even people who have very loud tinnitus and, and measured it even, you know, same thing. They get where they're not even thinking about it. Because I mean, if you think about it, Mm. I'm just trying to make it think of a good example. If there's a pretty loud uh, machine in the room, um, maybe even an alarm going off, it's not very, it's, it, it really sucks to have that alarm going off. But as you come to accept that that alarm will not do anything to you, like the fire alarm, I mean, it's really loud. If the fire alarm were going off all the time, you know, there may be some ways you could get where you can even mask that sound a little bit by playing another sound near you and you start to tune it out a little bit more. Uh, and there are people who have a fire alarm type tinnitus and even they have been able to accept it and then tune it out 90 you know, something percent of the time where they're okay. I fortunately, I think my tinnitus is pretty loud, but I, I have to say it's not quite that loud. So, but, uh, that's just, that's another topic, but I just want to say even, uh, different tones, uh, the, the, the thumping tone, uh, the, um, cracking noises, um, high pitched, low, low hums, all these sounds, uh, are, there's no difference in, in terms of the process of learning to habituate to it. It's just, um, you know, for, 
after you decide and maybe even have seen a doctor and they tell you, you're safe, you're not going to die. After that, accept it. I, I really want to encourage you to accept it because as you accept it, that's where the miracle takes place. You don't notice it most of the time. It doesn't happen in one day, but it happens over a period of time. You you come to accept it more and more. Um, so when you start, when you catch yourself saying things like, you know, ah, it's so hard getting through this day. It, I, it's unbearable. When you say things like that, that's not productive. So when you catch yourself saying things like that, you've got to replace that. I'm coming to accept it now. Replace it with that. Even if you don't believe it right now. Is that as I come to accept it more and more, I'm getting more comfortable. You know, I'm, I feel like I'm going to be okay with it one day. Maybe now is a little bit of a challenge, but I feel like I can make progress in the right direction. So these types of thoughts are really, really important. If you can get yourself to think those thoughts instead of the other ones, it's going to make a big difference for you. And you're just going to be normal like you were before. You'll kind of have a sound there still. Uh, you'll notice it sometimes, but you won't care about it. And most of the time you won't notice it. That's where you'll get to if you can just accept it. it. The way you perceive it, the way you think about it will change. And your brain's response to it is going to be way toned down. And that, that'll, that'll really help you. So think about the message you're giving to yourself. I accept it. Uh, it's not a problem. I'm, I'm coming to accept it more and more now. And as a result, I'm starting to feel better. Uh, so something like that. You've got to make your own message. But I want to encourage you to do that. That is today's video. I hope it helps you. Uh, I used to say um, uh, you can do it tinnitus warriors. We have the, so, and uh, so anyways, that's, it's also like a Jedi, Jedi mind trick. I used to talk, use those terms. I wanted to use them again. Je tinnitus warriors and you use those Jedi mind tricks to get your brain in the right place. And then, wow, it gets so much better. Okay, good luck. You can do it. <laughs>